For New Mexico lawmakers, the pressure is on. They have to find a way to make New Mexico licenses compliant with the Real ID law. If they don't, starting January 10th, they won't get you into federal facilities like military bases. And a few months after that, our licenses may not be accepted at airports. Federal Homeland Security officials say it all boils down to one issue, a New Mexico law giving driver's licenses to undocumented immigrants. Some lawmakers are proposing a two-tier system with a real ID compliant license for citizens and driving permits for undocumented immigrants. We oppose a permit because a permit then makes these people subject to exploitation. The state's conference of Catholic bishops believes those permits would single out immigrants for potential abuse. Landlords or other people charging them, they can uh, exploit them because they know they'll be afraid to go to the police. The bishops are praying for a deal that allows undocumented immigrants to get an actual license while still bringing New Mexico in line with real ID. They have to wait until the legislature convenes to see if their prayers are answered. We don't want to create fear. What we need to do is keep everybody safe, and this does it. Meanwhile. A lot of New Mexicans rushing to get passports to make sure they're covered when the real ID fallout begins. On well, the U.S. Postal Service is